the world's first sight of a supersonic airliner. 001, the first prototype of the Anglo-French Concorde being rolled out at Toulouse. For Concorde's builders, Sud Aviation and British Aircraft Corporation, the rollout ceremony was an interlude in a long and crowded program of work. Doubters said that the entire project was overambitious in the extreme, foolish and doomed to failure. March 1969 proved them wrong. At last, the sun has come out and the fog is now burning quite quickly off the airfield here at Toulouse. Concorde's entry into service will herald a new era of commercial aircraft operation. But design and development of its Olympus 593 engines rests on a solid background of technical and operating experience. Fingers crossed. He roule. Nous croisons les doigts. Full power and reheat. Il est plein de The world had been waiting for the £2 billion supersonic jet ever since a special Anglo-French Concorde Treaty was signed in 1962. For over a decade, British and French engineers had faced the challenges of the Delta Wing, the rolling vortex and the sonic boom together. To design and produce Concorde, a new kind of international partnership has been created between BAC and Sud Aviation on the aeroplane, between the Bristol engine division of Rolls-Royce and Snecma on the Olympus engines. Yet this graceful machine conceals complex aerodynamics based on the elegant simplicity of the paper dart, which gives stability and lift at all speeds, ideal for a supersonic airliner. Four Olympus engines built by Rolls-Royce and Snecma had a complex array of ducts and tubing which distill a massive thrust from simple paraffin. Four engines produce enough power to drive 8,000 family cars. And behind this great achievement lie the work of uh, tens of thousands of dedicated scientists, engineers, designers, managers and work people from both our countries. An achievement of Anglo-French collaboration herald of a new age of air transport. A supersonic airliner that will give Britain and France an assured and profitable place in the vast civil aviation market of the 70s. The clean lines of Concorde bring the efficiency of speed to an expanding world market. Every increase in speed costs a massive effort and Concorde is the boldest advance, crossing the barriers of sound and heat in one leap, taking 25 years of research, occupying some men half their working lives. Zero, zero, two, clear takeoff, two, three, zero, seven knots. Now people are starting to talk about a new Concorde. Various European designs are on the drawing board. And as recently as June 1994, the USA announced that a consortium led by NASA was to receive one and a half billion dollars to develop a 300-seat commercial airliner that will cross the Pacific in less than four hours. A new Concorde may or may not happen. But one thing is certain, the original Concorde, now flying for 25 years, stands proudly alone, the best known and best loved of all civil aircraft. A remarkable combination of power and grace, and all thanks to the technology and engineering skill of those countdown years.